everyone! Hello and welcome back! So let's play Far Fancy Gate. I am the Black Shadow, and uh, we are still here um, by the little path I was showing sure in the last video, folks, after going on the border planes for a fair while, folks, uh, in the search for the, um, the end of the, the open quest. You see the little bits and pieces here. I'm actually just kind of the other end here is all. Because if you come up here, you'll notice this massive, massive hole there. Massive crater folks, which is, uh, well, certainly not the folks. So, uh, let's just need find out, because you'll see here there's also a little bit here as well. So, let's actually, uh, well, let's actually head in here and find out what the hell's going on, folks. Just know I have taken an encounter none off uh, for those of you following along, so don't worry about that. It is off. You'll find. Look at the Trailer Canyon. It is a very well hidden away area, this, folks, but you may well recognise it. You see, this is where, uh, this is where, uh, Laguna and Kiros and potentially Ward were some, uh, 17 years ago, folks. In their midst of their, uh, dragon shot shooting, you know, the dragon and sort of, uh, you know, doing the bit for the film. That was kind of cool, that. Hey! Bang! Hit that sucker in the face. Not hit me and get away with it. I know if I need to come down the other side. But I'm going to do that right now. Oh, we got a mesmerized car. That's not so bad. It just doesn't look right with Irvine on that uh, side, folks. There we go. That'll look much better. You know I'm fiddly like that. Now you can come uh, down here and through here. This is obviously the, the next area then. You can just. No, so you can go along here, folks. Uh, it's kind of strange, actually, to come through and just do something like this. Very good. Let's head to, uh, see. What else has he got left? So, I think there's only one answer to this. Good God. And, of course, you've got the save point here, which, obviously, we, uh, visited. Uh, no, obviously, we come back here. No. Luckily, there doesn't seem to be too many ruby dragons sitting around here. Which is obviously very good. Because they are not fun to fight. And you'll remember that uh, Laguna and Kiros walked out of this entrance. Which, of course, leads to the Mordred Plain folks. So, they somehow, some way, uh, came... Uh, no, we can, you can plot the Laguna and his journey around the place, you know. Obviously, he somehow got to Travia. And he went through this canyon on his path to, uh, to Ursa, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to quickly, uh, I'm going to head back uh, to the uh, Ragnarok on, off screen. I just figured I'd show this place. I figured, why not? You know, you might not see it. So I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so admittedly, there weren't that many distinguishing features of Travia County. But hey, I figured I'd show it off to you folks. You know, say, so you can get there. You know, it's just a, you know, it's just a really nice to go to. You know, why not? But now we get to the serious part of this video, folks. Now, um, admittedly, uh, I've been having a bit of a think about doing this, folks. Uh, this, this, um, what we're going to be doing here. Taking on very, very dangerous enemy. Very dangerous enemy. Now, what we can do is we can head over to the central console of this. Because there is an island in the game which I haven't shown off much. We came across it, and I sort of talked about it quickly, and then sort of we changed up. I didn't want to talk about it just to get it, but, uh, You can only reach it now that we've got hold of the wreck. So you just need to come down here, uh, down this little path, folks. So that is straight east of us here. A little bit south of SR, past the uh, desert here. And that is this island right here, folks. I'm staring at now. You see, it's obviously a pretty small line, and you'll notice something keeps appearing there. And then it just disappears. 
Let's land the right rock now, folks, and uh, see what we can't find. Now, you will find once we land here, folks, this is the Cat Tour Island. Save your game. Because saving is for winners. And it also means you will be able to restart if slash when you die. Now, I'm just going to let you know, folks. Yeah, you can see that guy. I have I said, I've made a couple alterations to the party in preparation for this. A couple guardian forces moved around. Uh, uh, Irvine has got schools the Viathan and has traded him for Alexander. And the main reason for that is because I just because I wanted Irvine to have... Uh, I just wanted Gervine to have, well, the recoverability. And I also actually wouldn't mind having Guardian Force as well. He's got a little speed boost at the moment, just so you know. Squall's not really changed much. No, he never really does. Except he has now got Counter on, which is important for what we're about to do. Uh, Renoa has changed a bit. She, in, well, actually, uh, she's changed a bit. She hasn't changed at all. <laughs> never mind. Um, now, admittedly, there's one thing I'm missing, which I would have loved to do this, is that uh, I would have loved to have Alexander's uh, reviability, which admittedly I would have if I hadn't spent some time getting the med level up ability, which is just you know, the way it is. Um, because I wanted to get this to potentially be able to do another part of the side, and one more side quest, folks. I don't think we'll be able to do all of it, though, which is a bit of a pain. So there we go. Uh, so, revive would be really nice for this. If not revive, then uh, you do want to consider having some full life spells for this, which I believe Renoa has. Full life, she's got 18 of them, that's better than nothing. Uh, make sure you have some life stuff with you, you know, even Phoenix Downs, you know. Uh, Mega Phoenix, perhaps even, you know, you you need to really be prepared for what we're about to do, folks. Now, I'll just show you this place uh, normally. And, of course, as I'm just about to start doing stuff, I get a phone call. Thanks. So, uh, with, uh, you know, party and everything explained, let's just, uh... Let's just explore this place randomly, the cat's right. We just go around, you know, it doesn't really matter where. Being a cat tour island, this place is full of cat tours, and he just ran away. God damn it. Yeah, it's uh, you have a lot of fun and games trying to take out these cat tours, folks. Uh, these are actually quite important enemies if you do decide to fight them, folks, because, uh, if you can fight one of these and take it out, you actually get 20 ability points for it, folks, which is fantastic. I'm just watching the wall key, folks. I don't want to go into that little thing that was appearing and disappearing. don't want to touch it at the moment. It's two? Wow. Are they both going to run away? No, they're not! Right, let's scan one of these guys. Can we draw? Oh, we can draw haste. Cost the school, why not? It's not surprising you get haste on these guys. A speedy cactus of the desert. Damage will always amount to a thousand with its special skill 1000 meters. Now, note that its evasion is maximum, folks. These guys have such high, high evasion. You basically have no chance, almost no chance of hitting with a physical attack. And its spirit is so high that war, uh, magic damage does very little. For its very small amount of health, that's not good. However, do bear in mind that we have got Squall. And of course, Squall has 255 hit percentage, meaning he has basically got, well, about 255%. You cannot miss. We know that from blocks of being blinded, it has no effect on So now we've got Squall. We have got Squall. We can whack them. And waste them. For some big damage I would like to add, folks. Holy mouth of my god. Get enough, no experience from, folks. Yeah, Cactus Fall, that's quite nice. But 20 ability points each, which is really good. 
Ah, lately. That's bits and pieces. And with that, it is a really, really good place to walk around, take out these cat tools, and if you can hit one of them before they run away, really nice boost. I know El Noyal gives you 18. I would only recommend fighting that if A, you want a bit more of a fight, I suppose, and B, win the high tier so you can get hold of the loads of energy crystals. So, but until then, it's not really worth it. Uh, let's have a quick look at these guys. Done. It's not quite done. Uh, who was it as well? Was it Carmunkle learned status defense, didn't he? Yeah. We'll, uh, get learned status defense too. Why not? And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly take Alexander off med level up. I'm going to put a revive him. And again, that is for a particular reason. As we're going to save the game. Again. Because now... We are going to have a look at what the hell this thing is that keeps appearing to be that thing. Now you may well have probably guessed that is actually a cat tool that keeps appearing and disappearing, folks. We need to run into it because this is a very, very special thing, folks. But you must be prepared for this. Because this guy... He does not take fools gladly. We just got him to appear nearby so we can actually fight him and not have to fight some of his lackeys. There we go! We'll get normal boss fight, uh, normal standard fight music, but this is no ordinary cat tour. Holy crap! He's huge! And he's not fun! Say hello to the Jumbo Cactor. This is an optional boss fight. He is also a Guardian Force, which is why we want to take this sucker out. But there is a particular reason you want to be prepared for this fight. Let's scan him. And what do we find? He has... Well, there's Some Cactors live long... What? Some cats just live long, lives and grow huge. Uh, I think it's a bit of a typo there. Some cats live long and grow huge. This jumbo cat is one of those. Now you'll notice that uh, a few things about him. First of all, his health is absolutely massive, folks. At level 34, he must have around the 100,000 health mark, maybe 120, 130 maybe. There's a deliberate reason it's uh, it's blanked out. Set. You'll also notice he's weak against water. Now, I have known this deliberately, and you may have wondered how I did so much damage against the normal cat tour. You see, I've uh, basically got a hundred waters on every single character and junctioned it to their uh, elemental attacks. So we can let loose on this guy. Now, he is very dangerous for many reasons. His attacks sting. Let's hit him in the face. Except you do want to draw cast Meltdown on him. Wow, lovely. Maximum damage. We do want to hit Meltdown on him. For the vitality and spirit form, basically. That's what it is. It's also made of spirit. Uh, you can try casting Demi on him, but I don't... It doesn't work, does it? I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. It'll give me a bit cheap and dear. Pretty sure it's useful. Whoa! Yeah, I didn't think it was. Ow! That wasn't very nice, sir. Counter attack! Yeah, I put it on for a reason. Haha. <laughs> go grab the damage quickly. Yeah, fine. He occasionally uses this attack, though. 10,000 needles! It does 10,000 damage! It's not fun! There is a reason we have lots of life because he loves using that attack. That is instant death. You can only get to 9999 health. So big problem. Let's get recovery going here. Now, I have also got Renoa on the expense free one ability we got in the previous video. Because um, she's not going to be physically attacking. Means we can use free. Well, we can actually. We got a triple caster first, actually. I mean, she'll be able to use three water spells only using up uh, one, uh, one actual water spell, which is good. 
crack him in the face! Right, so now we can triple cast the border. And this should prove very effective, actually. I'm going to keep Irvine in reserve. Now, a, a lot of guys will suggest putting like, the cover along with like, Noah here, the like, main spellcaster. I personally don't believe in that. I think I, I prefer having that like, support because there's sort of a bit of bit of this, bit of that, you know, various bits and pieces. You know, they, they can sort of pitch in wherever necessary. Get a uh, school ready and we'll just keep on reserve in case he throws out this 10,000 uh, 10, damage attack, which he hasn't done there. Of just, just waiting it. Oh, hold on. Something's up here, folks. It's 10,000 needles! Actually, you know what? I'm gonna cast. Uh, actually, I'm gonna cast Circus. No, I'm gonna cast. Uh, no, you don't have Leviathan. Damn. Right, let's get you up then, Squall. Because if he's gonna go down, I might well make use of his. Uh, I'm gonna make use of his living breaks here. Considering he's got double damage effectively from the water to hunt, his deer will do double damage. Which is pretty, pretty vicious. Uh, don't you don't, 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 don't. Uh, right, attack. Reds are cooking his backside! Those no, will probably die for this. He has a unique animation for this as well with Reds are cooking. Yeah, L it does have some bosses that actually have uh, unique animation, which is quite I'm not sure I've made circle. That's fine, mate. I'm glad he didn't use uh, Lion Heart. There's something I want to show that guy. The reason why his health is sort of grayed away. Now, you see there, Jumbo Cactor is hesitating. This is very important, folks. Because this means that the Jumbo Cactor, he's hesitating. That means he is getting ready to run away. This only happens when you take the Cactor down to all, no, critical health, like about 5% health. We have to kill him now, otherwise he runs away. Triple cast, water! And Renza Kukun and just lay into the sucker and finish him off now before he runs. If he gets down to about 2% health, he will try, he, he, will prop, he will run away. Now, triple casting the water is pretty useful because it will do about, no, about 11,000 damage. That's pretty good. We got Renzo Kukun in case we need it. Goodbye, sir. You will die. I <laughs> give you upside down. Bang! Gotta love it. And. Bang! Well, the word timber comes to mind, but we beat the Jumbo Cactus! And it's better to do him, fight him earlier levels than later. If you fight him at level 1, he has 33,000 health. If you don't fight him at level 100, he may have 330,000 health. You get the Gaia's rank for beating the Jumble Cat, well that's basically fixed. Uh, HP plus 8% ability, that's really good. We'll keep hold of that. And 20 more ability points. And we get the Cactor Guardian Force, which is, well, pretty damn cool. He's a lot more useful than you might think. If a game uh, loads up here, I'll shut him off to you. Now, where's the cattle? There he is there. You see, we've only got three Guardian Forces uh, left to get here, folks, so we are narrowing them down. Uh, and it's a case of, I know where to get all three, it's just getting them. Two of them are pretty damn hard, though we are very close to getting another. So, let's have a look at the cattle here. Now, stat starts level 20, sort of nearish. No, the capability, the look itself is pretty good. But his abilities are very unique. So let's we'll start with this side. He's got an evasion and luck junction, which is very rare. No, for evasion and luck, that's pretty damn good. He's also got the defend command, which we will be making heavy use of towards the end of the game in a particular optional boss fight, which I know some people are looking forward to. The Kamikaze command. Now, 
The Kamikaze command is a very interesting move, and it's so interesting. I, uh, how does it work? I forget. Well, as I'm trying to remember, we'll move on swiftly. Uh, we've got the initiative command, which uh, is a bit like the um, the one we have for. Uh, you've got like alert, which is like uh, prevents like back attacks and struck first. Uh, which uh, who gives that? That's um, Diablos, I think it is, or someone. He gives us that. And then you have got uh, the uh, this version, which basically means that uh, no, you basically get first strike, but only that character though. Um, which, you know, is still pretty good, you know, especially really useful for, like, um, rather ironically, taking out Cactors. Because, of course, you get that, give it to Squall, he will hit that damn thing. He will hit the cat the, the Cactor before it even has a chance to act. Hits dead. Easy 20 points. Really easy, folks. So that's really good. Move HP up, source HP while walking. I think someone else has that as well, but I can't. Um, and then you've got, if you come over here, you've got Auto Potion, you've got Guiding Force 10, but, yeah, this is the big thing. HP bonus, strength, vitality, magic, and spirit. He has every single one of those commands, folks. If you heard a noise uh, in the background, please do ignore it. You probably heard that, maybe a tiny bit. If you heard it, I apologise if you heard it. Um, now, this is very unique because uh, obviously we've got like um, strength, uh, the uh, strength bonus was, uh, is it pa Pandemonia, I think? We've got like the magic bonus, which is with uh, uh, Siren. Cactor has ev all five of them. So you can give this to a character and level up what they really what they want. Now, it's a debatable which ones are more used. I mean, obviously, these all go up by one, which is most they ever get. The HP bonus is not too bad. A 30 bonus uh, HP uh, levels, not too shabby, but to be honest, it's not not that necessary. Considering you can just junction the health, uh, it's kind of a bit nearish sort of thing. And also as well, Kamikaze. Uh, basically, it acts just like the sort of like uh, self destructs um, sort of things that you see. Um, yeah, you know, that self-destructs like uh, the bomb uses and also in other games, uh, command. Basically, it's do a exceptionally high damage attack to a, uh, a an enemy for the cost of killing yourself. And the way the damage is calculated, apparently, is that the amount of damage done is equal to the character's maximum HP multiplied by 6. Although the attack can actually be a critical hit. Um, so, you know, that's pretty nasty. But yeah, obviously, like, the bomb uh, does the same sort of thing, which is kind of cool. So, you could do major damage to that, considering, let's say, how HP multiplied by 6, let's say you have 9999 nine, nine, nine health, you can basically do 60,000 damage. Oh, that's a lot. So, that's pretty cool. I don't want to give that to, though. I don't really know, folks. I'm not quite sure. But what I am going to do, folks, before we end this video, I'm going to show off one more thing uh, before I end this video. Um, I am going to heal up uh, school as well. I'm thinking about it. Might not be a bad idea. There we go. And we'll just let you quick get uh, things back to how they sort of were. I might well keep actually recover with Irvine, actually. That might be it. I might well do that. Although I do like his dark side. Eh, I'll have to have a think about that. Put a counter none on for the moment. And what I'm going to do now is actually going to show off uh, an area, two areas of the game which I have made reference to uh, in the past, but I've never actually gone to yet. And that is the islands closest to heaven and hell. Now, obviously people who play this game, they won't know what I'm talking about, but they're very crafty Now, um, we are here at probably the most inconvenient place. Because there are, now, there are two very, very special items in here. Uh, I'm close to hell, I'm close to heaven. Now, these are very important for a particular reason. Now, the, the, uh, I'll show you where these are. Head north, the island closest to heaven is this island right there. That really small one just above the uh, the, the Grand Didi um, Forest, or whatever the heck it is. I can't remember. I can never say that one. And the island closest to hell 
is this one down here, folks, just off the uh, just off the Galbadian continent. There. Now we're going to head to the island close to heaven. There's actually the closest one to us by cheating a little bit, heading uh, south. You no, know, uh, proving the world is not a flat map. And the reason that these are really special is that um, they're really good if you have the new find ability on, which I'm about to put on my land. Here it is, folks, and we'll see what we have. The island closest to heaven. Now we're going to put on Renoa here, and we're going to put on the move find Billy. Oh, she already had it. That's very good. Now, one thing you do want to bear in mind, folks, is that... Uh, whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, that was just the uh, no, part of that. I couldn't see it, folks. Now, the island closest to heaven, you might think, well... Looks right, you know, but it's just a piece of land. So important, folks. Well, what happens if you start pressing the X button around here? We just found flare. <laughs> Thank you. You can get some flares. There's Aura. We go a little further down, folks. Holy! You see where this is going, folks? These islands, this island is full of some of the most powerful magic in the game to draw. Tornado, which I'm going to give to her, but why the hell not? It is crazy. These do have some of the best spells in the entire game to actually donate, folks. It is crazy. I'm going to give those to a uh, selfie. Holy... Uh, Renoa's full, isn't she? Yeah. I'm guessing he doesn't have it. Uh, I'll keep Holy on him. Why not? Yeah. And you can go around here and honestly, look, there's triple, which everyone could have. I'm going to give that to... Uh, I'll get rid of mine. It is amazing. Look, there's another tornado. We can give some more of those to uh, selfies. Well. It is unbelievable what you can find on this place. No, not just... A lot of them are hiding on the shoreline. Look, there's Meteor. Holy crap. Give those to Renoa. It is absolutely ungodly. Here's another holy. You know, if dare I say it, holy crap. There's another aura. And what you'll also find as well is that some of these uh, draw points... Ultima! <laughs> you can find Ultima here! Is that, sadly, they do obviously run out eventually, but they do restock reasonably quickly, folks. And the reason you want to have Encounter uh, off is because there are some really, really, really nasty enemies on these islands, if I remember correctly. In fact, actually, I'm going I'm to actually save the game. And I'm going to take um, Encounter None off. Just to show you what I mean. Let's uh, take it off. Let's put on Light like, 50. Why not? You'll also notice that the encounter rate as well for this island is incredibly high. <laughs> There's a Malbro! Oh crap! This place is full of nasty stuff. Oh, mother of God. Oh my God. <gasps> run away! Oh, we can't run away because we're asleep! This is not good! Come on, game! Hey, what have we been hit by? Let's see. Berserk, blind, silent, poison, slow. Run. Oh, we can't run, we're asleep as well, but at least the confuse is over. Come on! It, it, it's a significant problem, folks. Let's say it is not fun fighting these enemies. They are really bad. Oh, Doom's on as well, I just noticed. Right. That didn't even hit because it's blinded. Oh, it, it is really bad. You know, you 
really got to be careful what you do here. Encounter none if you have it off. Not fun. And to show you how high the encounter rate is, let me just say walk forward just a little bit. Maybe two steps that was. Straight into another fight. Except this is against a bloody tri-face. Hit him straight in the face. Oh, I didn't do it. Damn, I missed the critical hit. Kill him! Oh, of course, they're not going to hit, are they? Because they're blinded! Wow, good work up. Do you see the problem? It's not good! <laughs> oh my god! Hit him! Continue hitting! Continue killing! Remedy, 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 remedy! Oh Christ, he's dead! No, oh boy! No! <laughs> Look at said folks, it's not fun! Look at the experience! Oh, the squirrel didn't get any of it. Oh, God, the squirrel and none of his garden... Over and none of his garden force has got any of that. Oh, man. Yeah! <laughs> Oh god, this is an entertaining place. My god. So, you see, uh, you might want to consider having, um, whatchamacallit off. Now, auras. Uh, let's take all them and we'll, and we'll give them all to her now. Or she can keep hold of all them because she can perhaps even triple cast them. That would be amazing. No doubt. Uh, pain, meltdown, anything uh, that we want to give to her. Oh yeah, tornado spells. Take. She shouldn't have it, and obviously we're not taking uh, this. But yeah, folks, so, you know, really, really amazing place. You can get all sorts of bits and pieces here. Let's put Encounter None back on. Then the, uh, you will find as well, you can almost, there is a, uh, uh, I know there are maps around you can actually find. Um, which have actually got um, these places mapped out, all the draw points you can find on these islands. Uh, I can't think of where they are, folks. Um, uh, call it back a little bit off the um, off the top of I believe. Uh, check out Game Facts. Actually, I think we're on that. If I find them, I'll actually link them at the bottom of this uh, bottom in the description. If I actually can. And if we head over to the uh, island of Hell, which is just down here, it's not too far away, actually. Get there. Obviously, much larger island. So if we uh, drop down the centre here, and you will find island closest to hell. And again, this place, rather the same sort of idea, folks. In which, if you walk around, you will find the points that there's holy again. No. And you can just literally keep coming back to and fro and everything. There's full life. I'm giving those to her. They are. They are indispensable full lives. Fantastic. Ultimus again. Renoa's got junction on something. I don't actually know what. We'll have to find out in a second. If it's her health, that's going to be a joke. Meteor. You know, it... Oh, the magic you can get with these. And the, what you can do is literally you can just keep going back and forth from the counter nun between the between both islands. By the time you've gone through one properly and you go back to the other one, odds are it will be largely, uh, largely, um, what you call largely replenished, if not fully replenished, folks. So it is, it is crazy. And you can just so exploit this. It's just. Oh. Beggar's belief, but it's a really good way if you want to get hold of some really rare magic, a lot of it, to really overlevel your characters and ridiculous junctioning. This is the way to do it. I know you only get sort of like twos and threes generally, 
but when you think of the amount of points there are, there's another old one. There's two old one draw points on one island. You know, it, oh, it's crazy. Look, there's Flairy. It, you know, look, Renoa has now maxed out on flares for God's sakes. Either that, no, she doesn't max out on flares. She doesn't have any space. That's my bad. Only, you know, oh, it, she's not yet. Yeah, she's obviously maxed out. You know, it's crazy, folks. Um, so really makes use of it. And if I take off the, um, take off the watcher, McCallit, take off the uh, encounter none again, you'll find it's the same sort of story. Uh, we'll put, uh, I'm gonna put mug on. Why not? Yeah, we'll find something. There's meteor. You can have that one. Let's get back. I tell you what I'm gonna do. Just show. Let's try and get back to the Ragnarok, which is only over there. I got into a fight and I hadn't even moved. Wow. Oh god. Oh my god. This could be entertaining. Grindles! I get the dragon fin. That's fine. We can use those and uh, get use those for um, Zell. It's easier than I think these then. Hit him in the face, Squall! Oh, they've still got water on the, uh, their, ele their elemental uh, attacks. Oh, God. Get her up! Hit him in the face again! <laughs> that was easy! She just got wiped out in one hit! Holy crap! Where's Kesis when you need her? Counter him! This is getting... Oh, this is getting bad. Oh. God damn. Full life. Full life Irvine. When's a kook in his backside? You know, you can fight some really tough enemies here. Wonderful free experience. You've got the magic around you to, to boot. You know, it's just a matter of surviving the fight. You know, the fun part. Get in! Oh, I'm he dead? He's not dead. Oh man. Angelo! Friends of Kukun! Now you wouldn't notice what you noticed uh, when I was picking the road with Angelo. You may have just noticed there was something else there with like Angelo. I'll explain that in a later video. I don't. Ah, oh, it's too. I don't really feel like it. Oh, come here. <laughs> hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Are you dead now? You better be! Please... Perish! If you're not dead, I'm gonna sue someone. I'm suing! No one's dead. Oh! Bigger Phoenix! This has gone horribly wrong! Get the hell up now! This is seriously bad. Angelo! Do something! No, Angelo, that's not what I wanted to see! something else rather than that. I know it's pretty damn powerful. If we just kill one of them, that'll be okay. He's dead! Right, we're back in business. We just needed one dead. That was what we... That was all we needed. Just one to die. He's <laughs> hit us for 6,000 damage. That wasn't good. Now we've just got to racially abuse him. Let's try casting double again. Uh, let's go for the, uh, what do we want to go for? Let's go for the, uh, dark ammo. The dark side. Hopefully this will kill him. Poison him! Do something! I hope he's not immune because that would annoy me. Oh, we got a critical hit out of that. Yes! He can't see what he's doing! So he'll cheat and use breath. God. Oh. 
survive! Oh my god, I thought I was dead! I thought I was dead! I honestly thought I just died there! Why did I use normal shot? He's dead! <laughs> he got away with that! Near death experience number five! Oh boy! And look at <laughs> Look at the experience! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> look at the numbers tick away! Irvine has, g has gained three levels! So is Renoa! Oh my god! Score is level 50! And these are gonna just go up so much! Oh my... Need I say more, folks? Need I say more? These islands are the stuff of legends. And they're also just about as fearsome as them. Oh man, that squall is level 50. He's level 50, we've not even hit the, f the second disc. The second disc, the fourth disc. <laughs> oh my god, folks, it... It beggars belief, really, but uh, there we go, my god. Well, anyways, folks, uh, I think that's what we're going to call the video here. I'm not going to sit here and hugely abuse this. I might do towards the end of the game, for a particular reason, uh, dragon fins. I'm pretty damn sure that was, was that, I'm sure that was what uh, Zell needed for his ultimate weapon. We've got the moonstone, which was needed for Renoa's, was it? All we need are some energy crystals, throw bits and pieces, and we're pretty good to go. And if I actually is a way of looking and finding out. What have we got? Weapons monthlies. Got that one. Oh, it wasn't. Uh, just need to get the force on, which is a bit of a fiddly one. Oh, there we go. And if we've got Sarvis, we can get, uh, we should be able to get, uh, Irvine's Exeter actually now. And we've got selfies. So we can go get hold of, it, of uh, Irvine's Exeter in the next video. Here we are! Oh, dragon skins! Ugh. And we've got hold of uh, Renoa's, I think. I think that is Renoa's, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, it must be. Oh no, it's not. The, no, it's not. We got the uh, the, Val the, the Valkyrie's the highest one. Not the Valkyrie. The whatever. I, the, the one you just saw, the pinwheel, whatever. There's uh, 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 keys to scissors again. Energy crystals, got so much to do. I'm gonna end the video because this is starting to overrun again! But I hope, I know, I've showed you this. Um, you can see for yourself, folks. Uh, yeah. These places are quite something. So, uh, use them, but be careful about abusing them because it will result in your death if you are not careful, folks. And on that very very stern warning folks I'm going to see you later so uh, thank you very much for watching in the next video we will actually say that in the next video folks well, we'll have to see what I'm going to do I'm going to quickly go actually off screen I'm just going to get hold of Alexander's le med level up and uh, see what we can do with it but I shall do it in the next video so thank you very much for watching I'll see you then.